Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are on the streets of Little Rock, Arkansas, where we will see a crew straighten a wooden distribution pole using expanding foam. Our participating utility is Entergy, and this video is sponsored by BMK Polecrete Stabilizer. Now what we are seeing here is a wooden distribution pole that is clearly tilted compared to the vertical stop sign it's next to. So let's start with the on-site safety meeting. Street, substation Little Rock Palm, circuit um, V710. Description, we're gonna be straightening up the street light pole. Okay, we'll start by backing the truck up. A boom arm on the truck will be used to straighten this pole. Put out some safety cones and in additional safety measures, ground the truck and also put this safety rope around, creating a safety zone around the grounded truck. And here is a before shot of the wire connecting the two poles, the listed pole. You'll see later how much tighter that wire becomes when we straighten this pole. Okay, now it's time to straighten this pole using the boom arm from the truck. And this is being driven by the gentleman with the orange rectangle at his waist. That's a control box controlling this arm. I am going to let you listen to this pole being straightened, and then we'll take a shot from the point of view of the guy running the arm itself. Now we can see at the base of the pole here a gap where the pole has been straightened and our lineman is picking up solutions A and B of polecrete stabilizer which will be mixed together using an electric drill and this mixing attachment and will be poured into that gap. And so here we show the crew mixing equal parts B and A together to form polecrete stabilizer and the reason we need to use an electric mixer to mix this two parts together is A and B must come in maximum and uniform contact with each other in order to create the appropriate exothermic reaction that will turn this liquid into a hardened foam. And now we show the pouring of the fully mixed polecrete stabilizer into that gap at the base of the pole. You're going to see that foam come up, expand, and fill in the base and in fact spread out and you can see now the uniform distance between the base of the pole and that vertical stop sign. And now after about 15 minutes of drying time the line workers can use their shovels to break away the excess foam above ground. See it breaks away in nice uh, large uh, portable lightweight pieces that can be discarded and then clean up around the base of the pole and once that cleanup is done, we are left with a vertical distribution pole. Now let's look at some before and after scenes from this pole straightening with foam job. You remember from the start of the video, this is the line that goes between the two poles. On the top, it's after straightening. On the bottom, before straightening, you can see how much tighter and more direct and straight across it is after straightening. Here is a long shot of the pole after straightening, cut away to before. You can see how much more it's listing and then once more back to after and finally one more shot of before and after with the before coming in on the left here you can see the difference in that vertical pole and so as our energy crew leaves and life gets back to normal on this little rock arkansas street you now see a straightened distribution pole you have now seen our TND How video on pole straightening with foam. Once again, our participating utility was Entergy, and this video was sponsored by BMK Polecrete Stabilizer. I am Jim Ducart with TND How videos. Thank you for watching.